How much time should you be spending on every single SAT question? Most students feel like they don't have much time and they're really working down to the last second. So while you're preparing for the SAT, you should have some sort of guidance on how many seconds or minutes are you gonna spend on each question. Remember, the name of the game of the SAT is to finish as many questions as you can while getting them correct. So how much time should you be spending on each question? Well, this really depends on section to section. Of course, some questions are gonna take you longer, which is totally fine, but that also means that if we want to spend more time on harder questions, we're going to need to save time and really speed through easier questions. My name is Krishna and I'm the founder of Future Admin. We've helped hundreds of students from 22 plus countries earn their dream scores. So if we look at the SAT reading and writing section, you can see that we have two modules, right? And each module is 32 minutes long and each module contains 27 questions. This means you have about a minute and 18 seconds for each question. Now we know that the English section of the SAT is filled with reading and grammar questions. Grammar questions can typically be done much quicker than the reading comprehension questions. So it's okay to spend maybe a minute and a half to two minutes on the reading questions if you can speed through the grammar questions. This is why timing is important, right? For easier questions, the first time you're kind of going through the entire module, you should just focus on answering as many questions as you can correctly. And then you can go back and spend time on those harder questions that are gonna take you longer to answer. But overall, I recommend really trying to get through the grammar questions as fast as you can so that you can really be focused on the reading questions. Of course, this is really only if you know your grammar rules and you're confident in your grammar abilities. Some people are much more confident in the reading section, they can speed through that and they struggle with the grammar. So it really depends student to student. So identify what type of questions take you longer grammar questions or reading questions. And then you can kind of find out, okay, I can spend this much time on the reading questions because I'm speeding through grammar questions. Now for the math section, you have two 35 minute modules. Each module is filled with 22 questions. This gives you about a minute and 59 seconds to answer every single question. Once again, some math questions will take you 10 to 30 seconds to answer. Others may take you a minute to two minutes to answer. A good rule of thumb for all of this is that the first time you go through the SAT, you just wanna answer as many questions as you can correctly. So don't spend more than about a minute on each question. Put an answer choice down and move on if you feel like you're stuck. This way you can actually save time for harder questions. If you're starting your SAT prep journey or feel stuck at your current score, make sure you go download our free guide linked in the description down below. Comes with a free masterclass. It's only about 13 minutes and it's gonna walk you through prep mistakes to avoid, three step process that our students use to get results like this and how to start SAT prep if you haven't already.